Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's weather update. Today, we have an enhanced risk of severe weather across portions of far northeastern Montana and far northern North Dakota. In the orange, we have a slight risk covering much of the far northern tier of the United States uh, from eastern Montana through the upper peninsula of Michigan and northern Wisconsin in the yellow, and we have a marginal risk in the dark green surrounding that. We also have a slight risk of severe weather today across the northeast in the yellow and a marginal risk in the dark green surrounding that. And we have a marginal risk of severe wet weather across portions of the south as well. Looking at today's tornado threat, we have a 2% chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of a location across the uh, northern U.S. Canadian border in this green area today. And we also have a 2% chance of tornadoes in the green area across the northeast. And we have an elevated 5% 5 5 chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of a location in this small brown area uh, around portions of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and western Massachusetts. So make sure you are on the lookout for a couple of isolated tornadoes, especially if you live in the brown shade area today. And then looking at the damaging wind, we have a 30% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a location across far northeastern Montana, far northern North Dakota in this red shaded area, a 15% chance in the yellow shaded area, and a 5% chance in the brown shaded area. We also have a 15% wind risk in the yellow shaded region across the northeast and a 5% chance surrounding that, and a 5% chance in the south as well. And then looking at the black hatched area, we could be seeing some 75 mile per hour or hurricane force wind gusts today in this hatched area. So if you live in areas like Glasgow, Montana, or Minot, North Dakota, watch out for some very strong uh, thunderstorm wind gusts today. And looking at the hail threat, we also have a 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location across the northeast Montana, northern North Dakota area. A 15% chance covering much of the northern tier and then a 5% chance as well in the brown. And then we also have a hatched area for the hail as well for a 2 inch in diameter or Hennig size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location. So watch out for some isolated very large hail if you live in the hatched area today. And looking at the heat situation, we are seeing heat advisories and excessive heat warnings across almost all the central portions of the United States. Got excessive heat warnings in the dark purples, and then heat advisories in the orange areas, and then an excessive heat watch across the eastern Texas and Oklahoma panhandles in the maroon color. And this is because today we are going to be seeing temperatures reaching 100 to 110 all up and down the central portions of the country. So this heat is just going to be insanely extreme today. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be just absolutely unprecedented heat. We could be seeing temperatures reaching 110 to 115 across uh, portions of central Oklahoma and northern Texas with widespread 105 to 110 across much of Texas, Kansas, Arkansas, western Arkansas tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be seeing unprecedented heat across areas of north Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And then going into Wednesday, we we could we're going to still be seeing temperatures up in the mid one teens potentially across central and southern Oklahoma and far northern Texas with widespread uh, 100 to 110 degrees across much of Texas and then 100s across most of the rest of the South on Wednesday and then Thursday a little bit of a relief where temperatures are just going to be 100 to 105 across most of these areas. We could still be seeing a 110 across portions of Oklahoma and Kansas and Nebraska 
on Thursday. And then after that, it's just going to be day after day after day for the next week. This is going to be next Monday. We're still seeing potentially temperatures widespread of 105 to 110 plus across the south and the uh, central plains. And then I'm going to be showing you the, the next week after that from the GFS model. Day after day after day after day. Maybe some relief by Friday, July 29th. If we do get a, lucky enough to have a cold front in the northern plains, but the south, no relief in sight over the next two weeks, unfortunately. So uh, make sure you are ready for this heat, especially over the next week and a half across the southern and central United States. Drink plenty of water, stay indoors during the hottest part of the day, and stay in the shade. Uh, thanks for watching today's weather update. Make sure you Prepare for severe weather if you live in the shade areas today. Have a wonderful day, my friends.